pull around the corner, we'll do it in the back. That's so cool. Back of the car, not the rear entry situation. That's just a taste. PC or the Mac? Uh, the Russians? Why would they go to the Russians? You can be a spy, too. anyone is after. Report back to me when, uh, I don't know, when it makes sense. So, burn after reading. Yes. And now, you know, you saw this as well. I did. I did. Saw it in theaters. Yes, I did too. So, uh, what was your impression? They came out with this. I felt like it really came out very quick. Mm -hmm. Like it was like, you know, as soon as No Country for Old Men got yeah. through the theaters. Oh, by the way, they have another movie out, Burn mm -hmm. After Reading. So I was like, you know, it looks it looks a lot like I love I love their film Intolerable Cruelty a lot. That's actually a romantic mm -hmm. comedy that's that's very interesting, uh -huh. and I like that. So I was like, you know, maybe this. And I saw it, and I was just I was so disappointed. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was exhausting in a bad way, really. Okay, so what, like, what did you find exhausting? The characters, mm -hmm. they were not at all. You know, it was a dark comedy, and. Even in dark comedies, you should be able to love one character. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what makes it ironic and dark, is for there to be maybe one or two characters that is in this realm of this irony and cynical world that you do feel for. Now, I, the, uh, the character of um, the manager at Hard Bodies, I, I felt for him. I liked him. Yeah, but, and it wasn't even until, until well, but that, w that was not, you're right, that, that was later in the movie. I'd say about halfway through, you actually really got to know him. And it was just, you know, Brad Pitt's character just got on my nerves. Talking about the pre-sexual Brad Pitt sucking on, you know, his water ball like it was a mother's teat or something like that. You know, and always chewing gum with this, like, oral fixation that he had. And, like, this, this blonde skunk hairdo that was a lot more distracting than it was character building. Uh -huh. I don't, and... And it was just, I do have to say, though, I, I gave it two stars mm -hmm. because I love, I, I liked a lot of the filmmaking mm -hmm. of it. I loved the lighting and yeah. how industrial and harsh they made Washington, D.C. look. And obviously, mm -hmm. I'm sure that's the true depiction of it. And, you know, like the scene, like Hard Body Gym, it looked so, it reminded me of a movie called The Trial. I don't know if you've seen that. Have you ever seen that movie? No. You should see that. I mean, it's very good, but like, you know, all the fluorescent, harsh lighting. And I, I did, however, think the last 10 minutes of it was a true Coen Brothers film. I did kind of like the last 10 minutes. Like, I, mean, I thought the last 10 minutes yeah. of it was, you know, obviously we don't want to give away, right. but it truly was getting back to like Fargo mm -hmm. and Barton Fink. And the first actually two minutes of it as well, I know like that's <laughs> getting very specific, but that opening scene in the... <laughs> Basically, the beginning and the end was good, but it was just cut <laughs> the out. Very, <laughs> the very, very beginning. beginning and the very, very end. Yeah. But I felt like um, there was just too much exposition, for one thing. Um, I, I got to the point where I was like, okay, when are we actually going to get to what this film is really right. about? Right. This, the stakes weren't... The stakes weren't that very that high, yeah. really. And I mean, I saw, this, I saw this trailer. I got really excited about it. Um, I thought that it was going to be great. It looked interesting. You know, it's this big mystery or whatever, and it, it just it was so mellow and I, played down on that. I thought my favorite performance in it, if I had to go by the star ensemble cast, mm -hmm. would be John Malkovich. Okay. Like I really loved. He was I loved his over operatic outburst. Like yeah. you know, he'd have these moments of like subtlety and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden it took that much and mm -hmm. and it was just like his outbursts were just quite remarkable mm -hmm. but that's what I found it was it was over the top in a, in, the, in a funny way I thought that's where okay if they mm -hmm. could have taken that to some of the other characters as mm -hmm. well and there was just things in there that I was like really was yeah that, was see. that necessary? I'm sure if you see it, you'll know, you'll, what we're you'll about. Know, know exactly what yeah. we're talking about. Um, so I mean, I liked the very beginning. I liked the end. I liked the cinematography. I agree with you there. It was it was easy to watch as far as shot composition, and I, I enjoyed that part. But overall, I just I don't feel the need to ever watch this film again. I was very disappointed. And so I give it one star, to be perfectly honest. Like it's just it was always like the Coen Brothers. We're like, eh, you know, we can whip this out. You know, people are going to yeah. love it. They love us. You know, everybody yeah. likes us, the critics, and, 
and it's actually getting it's getting pretty slammed by yeah. respectable audience members and critics. I think especially coming after No Country for Old Men, which was just so critically mm -hmm. acclaimed, and then throwing something out there that's just not up to par. People expect you to get better, not worse. Right, and so. like I said, it just felt like it came out way too quick. Mm -hmm. It was so. Yeah. Uh, so that is actually just in theaters. So if you if you choose to see it, if you choose to see it, go ahead. You can um, if you want to. Be warned. <laughs> I would call it uh, burn after viewing, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> definitely be warned that there's definitely um, there's a lot of language, and there's a lot and there's um, elements of very graphic violence, etc. Um, so just it's be warned. It's a Coen Brothers film. It is a Coen Brothers film, but just be warned that that's in there. Um, so yeah. So. Well, huh? that's our show for today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Yep.